it's wrestling hero figs special delivery right here a v wwe figure collector once again helping out the channel we got three packages we got four five six and we have a lot of new exclusives makis they will eventually become loose you already know man we don't leave our figures in a box i mean what kind of life would that be like let's go ahead and say that you were an action figure let's say that life got revamped and you were in plastic form six inches height <laughs> What would you want to do, man? Would you want to sit on a shelf? Or, like Woody or Buzz Lightyear, would you want to get play with? Well, for me, my friend, I would we, I would definitely want Cash. I, I guess if I were to be any, like, figure or superstar. Cash is Ono, at least for the NXT roster, that's me right here. Well, actually, that's not me. It's this figure right here, exclusive to Target. And, you know, those toy hunts that we've been putting on for you, we have been searching. But to no avail. Luckily, though, right here, eBay haul. Hero figs, how much you want to pay? How much did you pay? Really don't want to know, man. More than I would have liked to, but nonetheless, this figure is a must. Here's the side image of Cash Zono. The backside right here. Oh, no. Oh, no. We will review it. Uh, one thing I want to do. So first, we'll get all these out, right? We'll cover a little bit about what the figure's all about. We're getting some cloth goods. We're getting interchangeable hands. And we need to get the other NXT. Why Target though? Like, where? How do they even determine which figure is going to which retailer? And from one one thing that I will say is that it looks like current superstars they all go over there to Target. The Legends, on the other hand, they go to Walmart. So in this scenario, again, another Target exclusive, almost matchy matchy. You guys see that? You guys picking up? We're getting yellow. We're getting black, and they both wanted to come here on the WHF figure unboxing video even on the side too man these two are highly highly anticipated figures well not necessarily so much for sonia deville because we had already re seen her in the basic wave but i mean if you're gonna give us a little extra with it sure i'll take it man let's do it let's bring the next one in here i think this is the walmart exclusive still one that i still wanted to get my hands on to complete the corporation but who would that be we already got patty now we got briscoe Right here, the Stooges. One half of the Stooges. Hero Fix, isn't it one third? No, you're thinking about that old series. No, I'm talking about right here in WWE. What the heck is that on his nose, dude? Is that nose hair <laughs> coming out of the freaking man's face? Or is that just like a scratch right there? I, I couldn't tell you, man. But one thing I will tell you is that Corporation will finally feel complete. We're getting the same similar helmet that we saw with Pat Patterson. We're getting, again, the pants and removable shirt. And then underneath, I'm pretty sure, man, I can tell you this right now, I'm pretty sure that one should have a wrestling gear as well. Now, one that I did have to also pick up right here from eBay, um, I think it was, was it Elite Series 71? It was either 70 or 71. The, um, the Drew McIntyre, the one that was in the regular wave. So prior to me, I, oh no, that's the next one, that's the next one, but this one will complete that last one. This is the one that I was looking for when we did the Bray Wyatt Elite Action Figure Collection. This was the only one that was missing from the video, and this one was a Build-A-Figure, I believe a Toys R Us exclusive. Can't remember what Build-A-Figure part it came with it. I think it was it Paul Heyman. I don't know. It wasn't Paul Heyman. It was um, it was Kane. It was Corporate Kane. That's right. So Corporate Kane was the actual Build-A-Figure elite for that, but Bray Wyatt right here. So I think John Cena undertaker daniel Br or yes daniel bryan and then right here the fourth member in that set this is one that i still look i know it's very similar to the other elites like the pants style it never really changed i mean the color did but if you're a true bray wyatt mark if you are part of the firefly funhouse this is one that needs to come to your collection and pretty cheap too um i think it was uh 14 shipped so hey i think had you bought it at retail 20 dollars. i saved five bucks sure i didn't get the build a figure piece but i got the lantern we got the lantern confirmed right here getting back to that drew mcintyre so this one is empty this one i don't think that's the drew here it is um nxt takeover so the story that i was telling you one of my good friends uh tsm actually yes i think it was tsm customs he said dude i need to get my hands on that drew mcintyre over here in the uk it is not easy to come across like well actually for any like exclusive in general whether you're in the uk or australia or anywhere in the world 
these exclusives. I don't know why they do that to the collector, man, because uh, <laughs> it's a fight. But this one we had picked up originally, but I had gotten or I had done a trade with TSM. So I really wanted to get this. And I think uh, $20, yes, $20 ship, which again, it's next to retail. That was the best price I could find it. I mean, to this day, it is a fairly rare exclusive elite considering that, you know, it was like the one that, this one was the one that first introduced in the elite uh, line. So with that being said, I think what had happened was, I mean, everybody that had put it up, like once elite series was, I think it was 70. Again, I'll have to go back and check out the waves. Man, it's hard to keep up with all these waves. But that one was the one that had popped up quite a bit on ebay but they were still asking for like 35 45 like you say a price that's what they were throwing out there this one is also empty and then we got one more back here they were still throwing they still wanted a good dollar so when again it popped up for a good price i was like yes siri this last one right here we have a half oh no it's not a half it's a full-on figure but the scale right here it is half about the regular like you look at your regular elite your traditional uh it doesn't matter if it's drew mcintyre or finn balor this man right here hornswoggle one more to add to the hornswoggle collection we got the dx now we got the leprechaun look this is more i mean it's still very much leprechaun as you can see up on the shirt right here but like full blown out it's more of a promo dude you got his t-shirt the guy rarely ever wore t-shirts he was he was always like being that little sneaky mahaki Hero fix. What's a sneaky mahiki? Right here. <laughs> Here is Hornswoggle. So I think we need one, maybe two Hornswoggles to round up the entire gang. The best thing, so the best feature about this figure is even though it was in the basic line, all these Hornswoggles, I'm pretty sure all of them, or at least all the ones that I've collected so far, they all have added articulation. You're getting more like, when do you ever see this right here on a basic where you get articulation right here at the hips, upper thigh swivel, like all this, you don't see that. Oh, what's going on with mine? I think the sun was sitting the, where it was sitting in the sun uh, a little bit funny. You couldn't pick it up when they had displayed it right here. This one was another eBay purchase, but this was never mentioned about the discolor. You like, do you guys see how it's discolored? This is a brighter green, and this is a lighter green from the from like the lower leg area. Oh man, that's bothered. So I'm like, why don't you just flat out tell me, man? Tell me, I'll still most likely buy it. But as long as I know, I'd be able to make a more educated guess of whether or not I want to add this to col to the collection or not. So we got the green shoes right here. There is not much going on to the back, just a solid black shirt. But I think this one was the one that had gotten the tattoos. Out of all of them, again, once we round up the other two, which I am still very much on the hunt for, I'll let you know whether those ones had the tattoo or not. So I can't give you a full-on comparison on those quite yet, but we will, man. We like to keep you posted on this side. I can't make out. Is that a bird, you guys? Is that a freaking bird? I think that's a bird. Look at that. What exactly is that, man? I can't make out. It, I'm pretty sure if, uh, the, let's see, it's got some kind of writing. It says, I can't even read it, man. I need to get glasses. Honestly, I couldn't tell you, man. I should have just picked him up when he was first at retail, but I never found him at retail. That little character, man, he was pretty high in demand. I, all the horn swoggles, man, like, uh, for all the ones that at least come to mind, there is one more, you guys. There was one that was heading underneath the pile. But, um, yeah, it was just one of those figures that's like, Layla, here you are in the WH. One more, you guys. There, I told When I told you that I was going to collect every single WWE Mattel women's figures, I was not kidding you. And Layla will be absolutely no exception. Bro, this is so freaking nice. I really like that we got... Fam, what does that say? Uh, flawless. We got flawless going down the left right here on the chest. We're getting a really nice design with the studs coming across as well as towards the bottom of it. And then it wraps all the way around right here. The pants, you're getting a bright one. Well, it's not a bright, it's like a dark blue. And then it says uh, famous L E Layla. I'm sure L E, at least the L, that should stand for Layla. But uh, she's letting you know, man, she is some special. She is some important. And we got famous going across the back but there is the hall man we got one more added to the women's figure collection right here we have hornswoggle we have the return of the drew mcintyre right here in the collection the final piece to complete my bray wyatt collection and these exclusives that i know you guys want to see reviewed drop it in the comments which one's your favorite so far i think there's even some more um when did this get uploaded here fix i don't know man you gotta ask the whf universe but there is still more exclusives that we still need to find in the wild again if i can't find them dude ebay it's gonna be your best bet i want to thank you guys for watching be be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.